Okay hey. for the flames, Keith. Okay what, what do you think the, of all this business? Listen, you are starting your own fire on the screen. <laughs> I dig it. I wore red for you because there I can't have flames behind me. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I had flames behind me, it'd be a situation up in three years. <laughs> right. We'd be worried. <laughs> Listen, um, a lot of times in this film, Charlie is told that she's special. Mm. And special can mean a lot of things to a lot of different sure. people. But what does being special mean to you? I think being special, and especially in relation to Charlie in this movie, is not so much her powers and not so much those things she can do, but it's kind of her empathy. It's the fact that she, you know, she wants to do the right thing. And even though as attractive as some of the destructive element might be, and I think we've all been there. I certainly know when I was 12, I, I would have been, you know, happy to burn the heads of bullies. Um, you know, you don't, you may have that feeling, but you knowing not to do that <laughs> is the, is the key thing. And I think that's what makes her special. The bleeding of the eyes yes. for Zach. Was that CGI? Right. No. Okay. No, you got to no. tell me how you did that. Cause I was like, <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so Zach, you know, it's funny, you know, obviously Zach's got these beautiful eyes. Right. And I was like, and Zach's like, I want, like, when we do this, when I do the push, when I do this thing, like, let's go for it. Let's just do it. So we, we have these eye drops that are these kind of red blood like eye drops that we, we'd shoot the scene, put them in and he'd start blinking and they'd start coming down. We'd add more if we needed them, but it was you know, I, I don't think they're comfortable. I don't. But Zach was just totally into it. He was like, "More, let's go! <laughs> like, let's! I want to see that." And what's funny is, I thought it would be like, I don't think you can make him ugly. I don't think there's a way you could do it. But I thought, okay, if we put these blood in his eyes, it's gonna make it. But sometimes, somehow, those bright eyes just kept shining, like even through all that stuff. Yeah, they were shining bright like diamonds. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I just real quick, I want to talk about John Carpenter and the soundtrack. Yeah. How did you guys collaborate on that? Because I really liked it. Yeah, thank you. It was amazing. I mean, for me, it was just an incredible opportunity to work with him. I didn't think it would happen, but amazingly, it did. And, you know, John, I mean, he's been in the industry so long, so many influential scores that we had talked initially. I said, kind of, here's what I'm feeling. Like, this is what I think it should sound like. And he was like, I got it. Like, <laughs> that's what I do. I know this. And so, Every week we would meet and we would go over the tracks and just talk about things and adjust. But but it was a really easy process. And he he just got the movie from the get go and he knew exactly what he was going to bring to it. And and it was even better than I expected. Well, thank you, Keith, for answering my yeah. questions. I appreciate it. That is my time. Good luck with Firestarter. Thank I'm, you. I got to go out talking about the flames because I'm digging the flames. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I've got right. some water here. I'm safe. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.